Hi everyone, um, in this video we're going to look at how we can add two or more matrices and then how to perform this operation in both Python as well as um, Excel. We're also going to look at how to subtract matrices as well, um, how to do it manually as well as how to do it in Python and Excel. All right. Now, before we can add two or more matrices, we need to make sure that they have the same dimension. And this is because um, the rule of the addition or subtraction of matrices is that it is done component wisely. Right. So if I want to add, say, matrix A and matrix B, or if I want to subtract matrix B from matrix A, right, then it must be done component wisely. That is, first component of the first matrix must be added to the first component of the second matrix. Then the second component of the first matrix must be added to the second component of the second matrix. Uh, so if they don't have the same dimension, then it means that this addition or subtraction is not possible. Okay, so let's look at um, examples. Uh, we'll consider, say, the two matrices have the same dimension, 2 by 2. Okay, so if we have matrix A, which is equal to, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then matrix B, which is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8. Then to add these two matrices, we make sure that they have the same dimension because addition or subtraction is component by component, right? So we add the first matrix of the sorry first component of the first matrix to the first component of the second matrix. So we have one plus five. Then we add the second component of the first matrix to the second component of the second matrix. So we have two plus six. Now we move on to the second row. We add the first component to the first component of the second matrix. So we have three plus seven. And the last one, we have four plus eight. Okay, so if we sum these, we're gonna have one plus five, which is six, two plus six, which is eight. Then the second row we have 10 and 4 plus 8 we have 12. Okay, now if we also want to subtract these two matrices, then we simply remove the operator addition and replace it with subtraction because they both follow the same rule. Okay, so if we want to have A minus B, then this is going to be we're subtracting the B from the A. Okay, so we fi find the first component of the first matrix, subtract the first component of the second matrix from it. So 1 minus 5. Then we look at the second component. We have 2, and the second component of the second matrix is 6. So 2 minus 6. Then we have the second row. We have 3 minus 7 and then 4 minus 8. And this is going to give us 1 minus 5, which is minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, and then minus 4. All right. Now let's look at how we can perform this operation in Python. Now that before we can do this, we need to import the library that allows us to add or subtract two or more matrices in Python, and that library is known as NumPy. Right? So before we do anything at all, we need to import NumPy as, you can import NumPy as NP, you can import NumPy as anything. All right, so I'm going to use my name, import NumPy as Goka. Right, then I input my two matrices, Matrix A, which is equal to goka.array. Okay, and uh, this array has um, two rows, so we're going to have two of the brackets. I have one, two. Okay, and then the second row is three, four. 
and then we input the second array which is matrix B all right so we do the same thing go cut dot array and the components of this array are five six and then seven and eight okay and so once we've done um, in, once we are done inputting our arrays what we need to do next is to print our results so we do print now what we want to achieve here we want to find a plus b okay and so we invoke the addition which is add if it's subtraction it simply subtract so goka dot add and we are adding the matrices matrix a and matrix b okay so now once we've done this we run and then we have the same results as we had when we did it manually which were 6 8 10 and then 12 all right and so if we want to subtract then we also do the same thing instead of the addition sign instead of add we do subtract okay so print sorry shouldn't be in caps so print um, goka dot subtract and we are subtracting the two matrices matrix a and matrix b okay so we run it and we have minus four minus four minus four minus four just like we had it when we did it manually all right so that is how you add two or more matrices um, in python and also how to subtract you simply um import the library that allows us to add matrices in python and that library is known as numpy now most people use import numpy as np um, here in this video i have imported numpy as my name which is goka all right and then i've inputted my two arrays matrix a which has two rows and two columns it's a two by two matrix and then also my array the second array matrix b which also has two rows and two columns and so addition and subtraction of these two matrices is possible simply because addition and subtraction is done components wisely so if they don't have the same dimension then it's not going to be possible to add or subtract these two matrices all right now we can also achieve the same results using um, excel Okay, so the same thing that we did under the Python, we need to input our two matrices. So we have matrix A uh, and the components are one, two. Now each cell picks up um, one entry of, of each matrix, so three and then four. Then my matrix B, the components are five, six, seven and then eight all right so to find a plus b um, in excel it's straightforward all right now in excel every function or every formula begins with an equality sign so first of all we pick the grid that represents the dimension of our resulting matrix okay and so if our resulting matrix is going to be a three by three matrix then it means that we're going to pick three rows and three columns now remember each cell in excel represents one component of our matrix all right and so since the two matrices that we're going to add have our order of size two by two it means that our resulting matrix is also going to be a two by two matrix so we pick two rows and two columns and now every formula in excel starts with an equality sign so this is equal to now this is simple and straightforward all right so we're not going to invoke any um, function here it's just the addition operator so 
We pick our first matrix, matrix A, just highlighting the matrix, all right, and then addition sign, and then we pick our second matrix. Now, some, some computers allows you to just press enter after you do this, but in some computers you have to press control shift plus enter. All right, so the combination after this is control shift enter all three but some computers also allows you to um, just press enter and it gives you the results but if you do that in other computers then you're gonna get an error message all right so if I do that I'm gonna get 6 8 10 12 just like we got when we did it manually as well as in Python all right, now if we want to find A minus B, we do the same thing as we did under the addition. So you see the, the addition and the subtraction is just um, replacing the addition sign with just the subtraction sign, replacing the add with the subtract, all right? So they, they work pretty much simple. All right, so this, the same thing, I'm gonna select the grid or the number of rows and columns that represents the dimension of my results. And the dimension of my results is a two by two, so I pick a two by two um, grid. Now every formula in Excel starts with an equality sign, right? So once you've done this, you press equal to, uh, since we are finding A minus B, it means our first matrix is A, all right? So we select our first matrix, matrix A, just the minus sign and then we select our second matrix and after this you press control shift enter right but like I said some uh, machines also allows you to just press enter and then you get your result so we have minus four minus four minus four minus four just like we had under the manual and then under the Python approach so it's simple and it's straightforward all right, so our next video, we're going to see how we can transpose matrices manually using Python and then using Excel.